Hello everybody, Diamond Guru here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a Minecraft server. So, this is for not plugins, aka vanilla. So you're going to have to go into your um, version you want. You have to press, go over here and press server download. It'll take you to your um, browser and then it should download it. I downloaded multiple of these, so that's what it says for. But wait for it to finish. Press say keep because you know it's not going to hurt us because by Mojang. And now we just have to wait for it to finish. So yeah. But for now let's make a folder for our server. Okay, let's call this server tutorial. Okay, so there we go. Let's put it at the top. Let's put it up there. Okay, so we have that. And... When is it going to be done? Okay, I'll just tell you guys when it's done. Okay, it's done now. And let's copy this. Ignore everything else because I just have a bunch of stuff. Okay, let's paste it in here. And let's rename it to just normal server. You guys won't have to do this because unless you have like multiple days like me. Okay, so let's call this run dot bat but the thing is is that when you originally make it if you don't have this checked file name extensions it'll just be like a um, normal thing you have to change it you have to click this and then rename it from run dot bat dot pst to just run dot bat just keep that in mind okay so we're going to need to edit this now we're going to do java we're going to allocate some ram let's do one gigabyte then s is going to be also one gigabyte then we're going to do jar and server.jar actually sure let's leave it good okay and then there we go that's normal if it crashes didn't really crash though so you're going to need to add the eula it's an agreement about how you're not going to do pay to win and stuff. I'm not going to do that, so I'm just going to do it straight away. And now it's going to run. Normally, download all the stuff. And yeah. So yeah, this is, this is kind of cool because it shows you who's on, how much RAM you're using, and a full on console. I like this better than that, but you still need to have this open. You know? You can close this one and then just use this one, or type dash no GUI at the end, like I was about to type. But yeah, let's just minimize this and use this one. Okay, let's wait for it to load. While we're waiting for that, let's um start it up. Okay, so we have that, and let's press play. I already have it downloaded, but if you guys don't have the version you want downloaded, you can always just choose versions. But, um, yeah. Okay, so we have Minecraft almost started up. Now, now that we have this done, unless you want it to be survival and stuff. Sorry there. My PC just lagged. Okay, I think I just typed my name wrong. Yeah. There we go. So now I'm opt. Let me guess. Minecraft crashed. I'll just have to use the old Minecraft launcher. Never mind. Didn't crash. We're all good. Okay. So, now that we have this, we're going to do local host okay now we're in it says we just joined and here we go you know it's pretty cool 
So now we can do all sorts of different commands. It's like any other Minecraft um, world. It's just you can play with multiple people. But the thing is, is depending on how much allocated RAM you have, you can always lag out. So I just moved really fast. It's teleported me back. I think that's also because it's generating. But depending on the version, it may be more laggy or not. It also depends on the PC. But yeah. So I have a relatively okay connection because it's on my own computer. You can always pay for like hosting services, but I don't like doing those because they cost money. And also you can just host it on your computer. So yeah. That's it for the basic way of creating a Minecraft server. If you want a more in-depth tutorial, I'll probably make one for like Spigot and Bucket. And I'll probably do that later. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for new